Hello my dear and sweet friends, how are you all doing? I thank you all for joining me and getting on the mat to achieve what cannot be achieved off the mat. We are on the last day of our 6 days yoga course for beginners. Our focus today is a sequence of breathing practices. You can practice this sequence daily after doing your asanas or by itself as a kriya. I am Upasana Kosla, your yoga teacher and guide and I welcome you to Sri Anand Yoga. We shall begin today's Kriya with the practice of Kapal Bhati. Kapal Bhati is known to be the most powerful breathing technique of yoga. It cleanses the minutest cells of our body. Generally, those suffering from heart problems and high blood pressure are advised not to practice Kapal Bhati. But if Kapal Bhati is practiced as a pranayam, as I have explained further in the video, each one of you can practice Kapal Bhati and enjoy its many benefits. I have made a video on Kapal Bhati, the link of which I have shared in the description. I would like to repeat some of the common mistakes people make while practicing Kapal Bhati. Do not shake your entire body. This is wrong. You have to be firm and your only movement has to be isolated in your abdomen. Second mistake people make is they change their entire facial expression while practicing Kapal Bhati. Watch this. No. You are not supposed to be practicing Kapal Bhati by changing your facial expressions. You have to maintain calmness throughout your practice. Let us begin today's session with Kapal Bhati. Five rounds, each round having 20 strokes. Sit with your eyes closed in your comfortable sitting posture. Quiet in your mind and only listen to the voice speaking to you. I will now explain the practice of Kapal Bhati which makes the breathing practice a pranayam. Inhale normal. With each exhale through your nose, begin pulling your abdomen forcefully inward, throwing out as much carbon dioxide as you can from your lungs. 5 rounds of 20 strokes each. Once you complete 20 strokes, exhale forcefully one more time and hold your breath out as you bend your neck to touch your chin to the base of your neck. This is the chin lock which converts Kapal Bhati into a pranayam practice. When you feel you can't hold your breath any longer, Slowly inhale and bring your head up. The chin lock hold should be as per your personal capacity. Let us now practice in the manner I have just taught you. 5 rounds of 20 strokes each round. In the 21st round, hold the chin lock as per capacity. Bring your head up as you breathe in. Relax before you begin the second round.
Today's session is a breathing kriya, good to clear your mental and emotional channels and should be practiced daily for best results. After completing the Kapalbhati rounds, sit and relax with the after effects of the practice till your breathing is normal. Our next practice is 10 rounds of alternate breathing or Anulom Vilom, which we have learned in our earlier session. Link to my video on how to correctly practice Anulom Vilom I have given in the description for your easy reference. One round of Anulom Vilom consists of an inhale from the left nostril, exhale slowly from the right nostril, then inhale from the right nostril and very slowly exhale from the left nostril. Keep your inhales and exhales smooth like a silk thread of air passing through your nostril. Make sure you don't inhale with force or create any breath sounds. Maintain the silky smoothness of air passing through your nasal passage each time you inhale and exhale. Inhale smoothly, exhale slowly. Continue with dedication. Inhale, exhale. Inhale from one nostril, exhale from the other nostril. Now inhale from the same nostril and exhale from the other nostril. One round of Anulom Vilom consists of an inhale from the left nostril, exhale slowly from the right nostril, then inhale from the right nostril and very slowly exhale from the left nostril. As you continue with the 10 rounds of the alternate breathing pattern, feel what it does to you. It not only cleanses your nasal passage, but strengthens your optic nerves to help your exterior vision as well. Complete 10 rounds of Anulom Vilom with focus on your inhales and exhales from each nostril. Create a silence within you that you don't even hear your own breath.
with the practice of alternate breathing you are not only cleansing your nadis but maintaining a balance within your body with each round of anulom vilom feel yourselves open as you begin to rejuvenate your entire being During the entire practice maintain alertness of physical posture sit up tall and erect spine straight and stretched shoulders back and firm navel tucked deep in that belly once you complete your 10 rounds breathe normally and experience the calming after effects Rest a while and mentally prepare for om chanting by sitting in silent mind and body awareness link to my video on how to correctly chant om i have given in the description for your ready reference with your eyes closed breathe in deeply and extending to lengthen your exhale as per your capacity chant om Pause before you breathe in and continue with the next Om Kar. Keep the O short and more as long as you can. feel the sound vibration of om within you As you hold your breath after each om recital feel the true bliss of your existence in the universe
After 10 rounds of Om recitals, stay in meditation for a while. Eyes closed, feel the peace and quiet within you. Enjoy the feel of bliss. Remain with the Om vibrations as they pass through. Every cell in your body cleansing anxiety and negativity within you. We conclude the Kriya with any mantra recital. Ideally, 10 rounds of Gayatri Mantra works for me. O Divine Mother, our hearts are filled with darkness. Please take the darkness away from us and bring illumination within us.
With the practice of this breathing kriya, we complete my 6 days yoga course for beginners. Do continue with self-practice for your physical, mental and emotional health. With each practice, you will find yourself evolved to a higher level. I hope you have enjoyed the session as much as I have. Please put in the comment box how this has worked for you to help me serve you better. I conclude this six day yoga course for you to begin your yoga journey in the comfort of your home. A hearty congratulations for all of you who have made it through all the six sessions. Continue with self practice at your pace and time. All my seven videos have been uploaded on my YouTube channel Yoga with Upasana Khosla. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to be notified of my new uploads. Thank you for the time shared. Stay blessed.